so that was um a big part of my thing is that I try not to be like my dad because his behavior affected me so badly that I did not want that you know to do that to other people and now that I have a kid I am definitely trying not to uh, be like what he was and I still see hints of it. Um, some days I come home and people say, Oh, I, am I already overloaded? Shoot. We'll get rid of that. I guess we'll go back and empty our inventory. Maybe I'll just make a path out here. This is a lot of shrubberies. You know, I, I tend to forget when you look at things in the overview map, they look a lot smaller than they are in real life. So, oh, Enderman, Enderman, Enderman. Thank you. Too. That was pretty cool. So things, um, kind of losing my train of thought. Of course, what else would I do if I didn't lose my train of thought here? Oh, actually, I can put you in there. You have plenty of saplings. I'm gonna take this, put you back over here. So we got tons of apples. I don't need any of these blocks right now. I want to completely empty my inventory. I should get that axe. No, I kind of do want you. What did I put in here that I didn't want to put in here? That. <clears throat> And also at a very young age, because my mom didn't want me to end up as uh, like my dad. And she saw rumors of the same behavior. Obviously, I look a lot like my, well, it's not obvious to you. But if you knew my dad, I'm like a carbon copy of him physically. I have the real broad shoulders, the um, <laughs> real big belly, the same facial expression features and stuff like that um, so I'm a lot like him in many ways oh, I should go back out to the beach and collect all that stuff I left there before it despawns and then we can work our way back I guess hopefully this is it Yeah, I knew I left stuff out here. So, um, basically, after they got married, um, my, my mom got pregnant right away and had my brother at 17. Then almost immediately, and this happens with a lot of people, afterwards, um, and after you give birth, you're really fertile. <laughs> and they even say, you know, watch it because you will get pregnant again. And that's what happened. Um, and then basically they had two kids at the age of 17. Uh, am I missing some blocks in there? Nope. Okay. So my older sister was born and as most dads do in their family when they have a son the first son is always named after the dad and my dad has a weird name it's not so weird now since uh, JK Rowland has made the name trendy again but my dad's name was Harry 
But everybody, when we were growing up, we he didn't like be referred to as Harry, and his nickname was Bud, B U D, like the dog or the thing you smoke or the thing you drink. I'm gonna get rid of this one because there's growth on it. Um, so my brother grew up and I actually didn't know this until later in my age. Uh, he didn't like Harry and I always knew him as Chris but his real name is Harry also. But everybody calls him Chris. But when he does things legally it has to be Harry Christopher because Chris is his middle name. And I guess um, <clears throat> my brother and my dad butted heads pretty bad growing up. Kind of uh, turned my brother into the opposite of my dad. My dad was the mean bully and my brother turned out to be a pot smoking hippie and still you know followed all the new age oops trends even now you know driving to volvo <laughs> um listening to new age music and stuff like that as he grew older for some reason my sister turned out okay and so seeing that things were going pretty rough in there lives um they waited a little while to have another kid so but once my sister got out of you know diapers and then to school kindergarten they had another kid and that's my other sister and my other sister's five years older than me and then five years later i was born and by that time even though Excuse me one sec. I kind of prepared today. Even with the hair. Ugh. There's nothing worse in life than to put something in your mouth that has hair on it. <laughs> I hate the feeling of hair on In my mouth. Okay. I kind of at an impasse of whether or not I should clear out all these things or if I should start building my build. Yes, two building episodes in a row or weeks. Even though this looks like I'm mining wood, um, basically I'm kind of, I always do that. So, um, my dad never actually hit me physically, but I think he might have to my brother. And I think part of his growing up was to learn how to control his rage, his anger, so he wouldn't do that. He's come close. I thought a couple of times I was going to get it, but he never actually did. But he always consistently was drinking throughout his life, and he kind of played it off. I remember... When I was a kid, um, high school age, after a Halloween party, my dad stayed home and he was hung over from drinking. And my mom was worried I was going down the same path. Um, so he, she kind of made sure that he hung out on the couch feeling miserable in front of the, me, especially in my sister. Um, because by this time, both my older brother and sister have moved out of the house. That he stayed on the couch and show off his hungoverness-ness. Okay. Do I go like this, or do I cut across? Let's see where this leads me to. Okay, so if I just cut straight across, I think that's cool. <coughs> now my uh, a sickness that has been invading our household for the last few weeks 
has now gone to, gotten to my daughter, which is too bad. I need to cut down a couple more birch trees because there's a lot of birch in this build. So a lot of my um, the stuff I've been talking about through the different episodes uh, have been observations because even at a very young age, my mom instilled at me in me to keep an eye on my behavior. And still I need to work with selfishness and stuff because I tend to still be selfish. Um, and that was just because my dad was such a horrible... I mean, he doesn't mean bad, but his actions have created a lot of negativity in the family. And I don't want to put that onto my child. So that would kind of suck. Now, I think we cut this out. So my brother, um, even now, like he's always, you know, self-help new age guy. He showed me what was on his audible book list and it's a book, how, how growing up with an, uh, an adult alcoholic in the family or with a parent being an alcoholic or something. And he's reading books like that. And that's kind of why I'm thinking about the subject right now whoops I guess I'm gonna cover up that cave skellies and and zombies oh my I say that now but I'm probably gonna be in trouble in a minute nope Come on, Skelly. You can't hit me. I'm just going to ignore their existence and move on. Here's a birch tree. So I remember when I was in, I don't know, middle school, my mom showed me a... Uh, guy talking about stinking thinking and how you can control your thoughts and how to not be what I was turning into at the time which was very depressed to the point where I've actually did try to commit suicide a couple of times but uh, honestly looking back at it now um, okay I thought I heard a creeper, and I thought it was sizzling, but anyways, um, looking back at those times now, I think I didn't actually want to do it, I think I was just looking for the attention, because it seems like a lot of my actions when I was a kid was attention getting, you know, trying to get attention from my shitty ass parents that were too busy, there is a creeper. Come here. Creeper. Come on, really? I need to get you, huh? Hey. Caves. Are you coming after me too? What did I leave down there? Oh, that's a bunny. <laughs> I thought that was a, I don't know, an item. Are you mad at me, bro? Or are you just hanging out? Okay, you're just hanging out. Don't be attacking me in a minute. I guess I'll cut down until this axe dies. How's that? Good thing there's no one breaking three on it. Because <laughs> I've been cutting down for too long already. 
not as much as I thought it would be to cut out this forest, but more than I, I don't know. But anyways, so at an early age, I uh, was taught to, you know, could not control, but to be aware of the thoughts that you have and understand where they come from so you can deal with them and not be so pig-headed about stuff, you know, um, it's okay to have certain thoughts, I mean, if I, if, if I was going to get in trouble for my thoughts, oh my god, I'd be in jail for the rest of my life, It's basically what I'm saying, um, because I've had some horrible thoughts, and that is from having a really bad negative influence growing up, <clears throat> as a dad and I'm gonna have issues as a dad because the only way I know how to raise a kid is from my dad's example which was pretty shitty so um it's things I'm I work on and and I don't go oh look at me poor me I had an alcoholic dad oh poor me I I did this and this I'm saying this stuff because um, all cards in life, you know, the deck you're handed is not even to everybody else around you, but everybody expects the same from you, so you better figure out a way to be productive if you want to have a good life, um, with a deck of cards you have in your hand right now, or the hand that you're playing for life. Look at all these. I really wish I was playing UHC. No, I don't. UHC is stressful. I mean, I would love to play UHC again. But it is stressful. And did I tell you I hate the nether? And, you know, playing UHC, it's who's rushing the nether first. And speaking of UHC, um, I have switched over officially. Um, I am watching, right now, Hermitcraft is doing a UHC, and I'm watching my very first UHC Hermitcraft, which means not watching, say, one person's perspective, but watching each team's perspective for each week, or each video, or each 20 minutes, I should say, that they do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting to know the Hermitcrafters all pretty well. And I'm going to say it again. I think false symmetry is probably one of the best. They all have really cool designs. And I would love to do that for a living. Jesus, I would love to play Minecraft for a living. My fiancé would love it for me to play it for a living. No, that's not going to happen. That's a it's better chance of getting struck by lightning while being eaten by a shark which doesn't happen too often that's weird um, ah. we'll get rid of you I think this was a pretty effective use of three diamonds getting probably 10-15 stacks of dark wood but I will stop doing this in a minute. I know I keep saying that. And I'm going to start laying out where I want the building to be. I may have to pause it before I do it. No, well, maybe not. I'll, I'll build it from the shore out. When I initially built the design, I built it from... Um, come on. Yeah. I built it backwards. I am going to get this guy. You know, I built from the dock, from where you're going to put the boat, towards the shore. <laughs> and I'm going to rebuild it backwards, from the shore out to the where you put the boat. I guess. So, a few things I knew right away in my life was that I wasn't going to be touching alcohol. Um... I replaced it with drugs. When I was in school, I got 
in high school, I got arrested for selling LSD. I was a big deadhead. I hitched a ride down to Rutherford Stadium. I don't know what it's called nowadays. It's where the Giants play, the New York Giants, to see the Grateful Dead. And the whole reason why I was going was so I can buy a few sheets of acid. Really cheap. So I could be cool and sell it at my school. So, um, what I ended up doing was I went to the show, I got the stuff, I watched the show, I went to the Giants-Redskins game the next day, then I hitchhiked my way back, and I'm going to need, oh, actually I do have a lot of birch. Still going to see what type of path we have here. Hmm, things are gonna look a little different on the overview map. This guy's gotta go. Uh, one thing I forgot to do was get shears. I want some leaves, but that's for another day. Oh, I made it. So I, I got the stuff, and I got back, and uh, my best friend knew what was going on. So we pulled the money together and I gave him half of it. And um, he got busted and ratted me out. And then I got busted. I don't know why I'm talking the story, but um, is that clear enough? Kind of would like to widen a couple of these trees out. So I had a, not only did I learn at a young age how to control my thinking and stay positive, or I didn't learn it at the time, but certain ways to stay positive. Um... I was handed a massive helping of eat shit and take responsibility for your actions, dumbass. At a young age. <laughs> and that helped with growing up. Yeah. I don't know where these zombies are coming from. But we keep sleeping, so we don't have to deal with it. And he's still tracking me. This is some holy terrain. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of more trees. This guy looks like he's in the middle of the way. So I got handed a lot on my plate at a young age. And the worst of it, um, you don't know about. And you may never know about. If I decide to tell you someday, I will. But right now, it's not worthy. So at... 17 years old, I was facing 23 years in jail. And was being made an example of as being the first person arrested in Massachusetts with the mandatory minimum sentences that took over the rage in the 90s. Um, but um, my dad... He did good, <laughs> even though I've been, you know, throwing him under the bus this whole video. He spent a shit ton of money to 
keep me from screwing up the rest of my life with a felony record on my, you know, history. And he spent a ton of money for a really good lawyer. But I still ended up having to go to jail. Even at 17 years old, they uh, charged me with, as an adult, I should say, Okay, what I'm gonna do. Oops, I didn't mean to open your chest. I do have plenty of wood now. I think any project I do now. Hey, Jesus. Oh, and I do have more food. Is this stuff grown up yet? Nope. I think what I'm gonna do. as I chew on my hauls is start doing the layout oh jeez for this build and stop talking about my dad um the reason why I'm, I don't know I'm a I'm a different thinker I don't think like most people I don't think I'm always trying to become better not saying that I'm a good person or anything but Oh, it might help if I bring wood with me. Shoot. Is that my cat making all that noise? Okay, where are these guys coming from? Come on. There's got to be a big cave around here somewhere. No, I don't hear them anymore. underneath me that's where they are hmm whoa is that a cobblestone generator it is look at that oh sorry bat <laughs> sorry okay I'm gonna go get wood and start building this thing Start.